man. You're reading the title. You've been kind of follow my last video, man. Today, today, we got some pressure. In my opinion, I wish I had a cup of coffee, but it's too goddamn hot up here, man. So, anyways, let's get into the video. YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy DB Kicks. We are back with another video. I told you we was gonna be coming back, man. We working, we grinding every day. And as I stated in my lap, my previous video, thank you for getting me to getting us to 500 subscribers. We're at like 540-ish or something like that. Greatly appreciated, man. Like I said, I can't do this without you guys. I love doing this. Uh, I'm, I'm having fun with this. If you guys have not watched my channel before, welcome. DB Kicks, man, I'll do sneaker reviews, do some clothing, a little bit of vlogging here and there, and um, I'm just here to have fun, man. I'm here to have fun, talk to you guys about uh, sneakers and stuff like that, and just giving you guys my opinions, my uh, my thoughts on the shoes that I pick up for myself, and uh, that's pretty much it, man. We just come over here, have fun, no negativity, none of that stuff around here, man. We just having a good time, and um, this is what I always do, you know. And if you guys are watching right now and you have never watched this channel, man, go ahead, hit that red subscribe button, man. Do your boy a favor, like, comment, subscribe, man, you know, all of that good stuff. Because without that, I can't grow and I cannot prosper, man. So, 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 you got to pick up Nike.com box, as you can see. I had to cover my address. Nike.com box, as you can see. Let's go ahead and get into it. This is going to be a, a live unboxing, man. So I, I haven't seen this shoe in person. This is going to be my first reaction, and I hope it's a great reaction. So I'm going to go ahead and just open this real quick, man. Nothing, nothing fancy, none of that stuff. Okay. Oh, my God. Bro, I'm excited, man. Y'all understand. I have, like I said, I haven't seen the shoe yet. It's lost this box. This is live. I saved this for you guys. Oh, ah. Y'all see what it is, man. Y'all see what it is. That's not the black box. That's the brown box. Let's go ahead and get it to this. And I know you guys are probably sick and tired of hearing about the Travis Scotts. Shit, I'm sick of hearing about it. I got sick of searching for him. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So, y'all see what it is, man. Air Jordan 1 High OG TS SP. Travis Scott Special Project. The colorway reads Sale Black and what? Dark Mocha? Yep. Sale Black Dark Mocha. Retail 175, but y'all know that's not the case. <laughs> All right, so let's let's see, man, and then I kind of tell you guys my story and how I acquired them, where I got them. Got the pink pack cactus jack. It's like that good old kind of wax paper with all the different designs and stuff on it. Mm, smell test. Always smell test your, your Jordan ones. Not only your Jordan ones, your sneakers. Double wrap. Okay, so it comes with white paper too. All right. I gotta sit this down, man. I gotta sit this down. Here it is, man. Oh my god. Yo, I got chills just now getting these things out, pulling these things out, man. The Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott's High OG, man. This is it. This is a legit pair straight from the sneakers app, straight from somebody that I actually know. Alright, so first, man, let me just let me just talk a little bit, man. So uh Pretty much, we all know we all took L's and all that good stuff. Much of us did. Um, so basically, I started searching. So I just kind of looked and looked. I just looked at the collection. Benefits of having a big collection. So I looked at it and I'm like, what can go? What can stay? What matters more? You know? And to be honest, I my first thing, I was like, I have, I have a bunch of ones that are dead stock. And my first thing, I was like, I can dump like three pairs of ones. Boom, that's my shoes right there. But I kind of wanted to keep majority of my ones. I was like, you know what? I want to keep this to keep this going. Like I've, I've got really far with it. I want to keep it going. So uh, to be honest, man, the first thing I turned to was some Adidas, <laughs> straight up some Yeezys and stuff like that. I was like, you know what? This shit can go. Uh, I love, I love, I love all different brands, man. Jordan, Nike. Uh, that that's where my heart's at, man. 
to be honest with you. I, I made some trades. Shout out to GOAT, man. Like, I've never been on GOAT, man. So I posted a few pairs on the GOAT app. And by the time I posted them, got dressed for work, made it to work, both pairs, were, they were gone. I was like, oh, shit. Like, between GOAT and StockX, man. So, basically, uh, yeah, man. Shout out to Yeezy, man. Yeezy funded my shoes. <laughs> for real. That's really what it was. There's a guy... A guy I knew that hit on these the day of the app, or the day of the release. This is somebody that I've done business with back in the day, uh, where I used to, where I used to live in Jacksonville, and uh, we just you know buy, sell, and trade. You meet people. We've done business. Messages go back to like 14. But anyways, uh, so I saw that he hit a size eight. If you guys have been paying attention, this shoe. Um, Usually prices kind of prices will dump or, or will dip, get lower and lower. You know what I'm saying? When something comes out, these skyrocketed. I, I I've never seen that before. I truly have not. These like shot up. You guys can go look at StockX and go. So I shot him, shot him the message. We talked. He's like, yeah, I'll do it. And I'm like, perfect, cause he had said, yeah, we done business before. You know, I'm good. He offered like, hey. I can send you more pictures. I'm like, nah, man, I already seen the pictures. You're good. I know they came from the sneakers app because I've been watching. You posted it, you know, at the right time. Everything lined up perfect. And that was Thursday night. This was like midnight uh, Eastern time. Friday, Friday next day, he shipped them out. Today's Monday. I got the shoes. So shout out to, uh, shout out to Malik, man, for this the smooth transaction. I'm definitely going to tag you in the Facebook group once I finish this video. Uh, for just the smooth transaction legit business and to be able to trust somebody that there's still some good people in the shoot thing and And on top of that he could have went to stock X and made a, a, a little bit more bread so Man my first impressions of the sneaker um, It's it's amazing. It's amazing. So I'm gonna tell you guys this video is probably gonna be long I'm sorry, but I like I said I haven't seen it if I would have already seen the shoe 90% of this would have been cut out a lot of people hate the colorway we're, we're hating on the colorway and they just wanted them to flip but me personally um i love i've said i don't know if you guys if you guys actually pay attention i've always said i like uh olive greens uh browns you know kind of off-white colors i've always liked those colors like those colors just gravitate i gravitate towards those colors so when i seen the travis scott's i was like i dude this i gotta have it i got to have it like I love the I love this colorway. People say, "Oh, they should have did the Chicago. They should have did this. They should have did the Houston Oilers." No, this is fine. This is dope. This is, and this is so wearable. So I'm gonna just run through the detail. Let's go ahead and get into it, man. So first thing first, you guys notice you get that giant swoosh. Um, I love this because it's so different and it just it looks it looks wacky. You know what I'm saying? It's like you see it and it catches your attention. You're like. That doesn't belong. So you, when, when you see it, you know it's something different. So uh, you got a very nice, um, pretty, pretty premium leather right here. That uh, sale leather right here. Um, like I said, I'm still learning the details. Smooth ass suede right there. And that dark mocha color. You know, you got the black wings right here. You got this like nylon. I'm like this is dope, man. This nylon collar. It's all black. So I'm sure it's pretty durable. Um, sale premium leather. That back, you got the embossed um, Cactus Jack logo. And here you got the normal swoosh, and you have like Cactus Jack written right here in white. It's real faint. And it's actually, uh, I believe it's 3M. I haven't gotten to try it yet. More of that dark mocha suede wraps around. Uh, let's see how soft the suede is, because or, or the toe box is. I don't know. Pretty soft to the touch. Really, I feel like the highlight material of this shoe is this black swoosh. Very soft premium leather. This black swoosh and the suede. This is pretty normal. To keep it a, to keep it a buck with you, this is pretty normal like what we've been getting. Black laces, nylon, tongue, and on that sail color. Nike Air on the Nike Air hits on the tongue. And then on the side, you got the Cactus Jack logo that's stitched. It's actually stitched to the side right there. That's that's sick as hell. You got cactus jack and red on the insole. I uh let, let so if I had something I would complain about if I want to be nitpicky, I wish this would have been stitched in. I would I wish it would have been stitched like this to be more premium. And also this stuff like this comes out really easy. 
the stash pocket, yo. <laughs> this is crazy, man. Like, to put something like this on a sneaker. So, you got that stash pocket, and it's like a red satin, real soft. I don't know, you know, you know, I don't know what people are going to put in here, but I can imagine that uh, somebody will put something in here for, you know, some extracurricular activities that I do not participate in. Red laces, sail laces, brown laces, and then you got the pink. Woo! Man, that, these things are crazy, man. Age, sale, midsole. And yeah, man, that's it for the, uh, the Air Jordan 1 Cactus Jack. I'm going to throw these on feet. I got to. I can't wait. Tell me, guys, tell me what you guys think. Do you think these were worth resale? Do you think it's worth just kind of, you know, letting things go to pay for that shoe? That's what I did. Um, what do, what do y'all think, man? Like, this was a must-have to add to the Jordan collection. I'm in love with this color, this brown, this dark brown and black. And a lot of people that have these, they're either flipping them or they're like, no, I'm never going to wear them. Man, I'm about to beat these up. Um... I'm, I'm definitely gonna put some miles on. I'm not gonna ruin them, but I'm, I'm definitely gonna wear them. Oh, yeah, for sure. Definitely gonna put some work into these. You got to, man. You only, you know, that's what this is all about. But anything and everything that could act up when my camera's acting up right now, it just overheated. But uh, I just wanna say a few more things as far as the Air Jordan 1. You all got, you guys already know these fit true to size. Um, quality is honestly 10 out of 10. My pair is. I, I don't have a flaw. The material is amazing. The smell is great. Everything is great with the shoe. Uh, so like I said earlier, I'm going to throw these things on feet for you guys. And one last thing. Uh, so I'm rocking this uh, shirt that a friend made. He actually has a few different designs. Uh, if you guys are interested in this shirt, I'll actually link the website down below. It says Live Evil. Standard, standard cotton t-shirt. Um, just you know, with screen print designs. Uh, so go check that out if you would kindly do so. And um, thank you guys for watching, man. So this week I'm coming back with the videos. But we're going to get out of here, man. Thank you guys for watching. I just want to give you guys one last look. The Travis Scott Air Jordan 1, man. I'm so glad to have these. So glad, man. Like, yep, that is 3M. There you go. I can see it reflecting a little bit. We out.